Hey guys, Leon Sylvester here from Hair God, and today in this video, we're going to be checking out peppermint oil and how peppermint oil can help improve hair growth. If you're new to the channel, and make sure to hit subscribe. We're going to have so many videos coming out all about hair loss, how you can improve hair growth, all about alopecia, blocking dihydrotestosterone. We are just going insane. So we're making loads of videos, so if you are interested in this topic, please make sure to hit subscribe. Now in this video today, what you're gonna learn about is we're gonna learn about what peppermint oil is. We're gonna answer the question of whether or not it can be used to regrow hair. Then we're gonna look at the scientific proof of peppermint oil potentially being more effective than minoxidil. We'll touch on a few of the additional benefits. Then we'll look about how you can use peppermint oil. We'll talk about a few of the risks and side effects, the cost and availability, and then we will finish with a conclusion. So guys, we've got quite a lot to get through, so let's get into it. Now, peppermint oil is a plant hybrid of spearmint and watermint, and it's used in a variety of industries. Now, in addition to its place in the kitchen, it's also been quite recently used uh, for its many health benefits. Now, just before I get into this, I just wanna mention that if you ever see the bracket with a number, that basically means that we're citing some kind of resource or study. So if you're interested in the science behind hair loss, I'm going to link all those studies down in the description so you can go ahead and further your knowledge. So, yeah. Peppermint has been shown to be effective in relieving hot flushes in women, reducing symptoms of IBS and decreasing nausea. Due to its cooling effect, it's commonly, it is used commonly in the temporary treatment of muscle and nerve pain, as well as in the relief of itching. In addition, its aroma is frequently used to induce alertness. So, can peppermint oil be used to regrow hair? There is no doubt that peppermint oil is a highly versatile ingredient, but where does it stand when it comes to treating hereditary baldness? As will be discussed further, peppermint oil has a variety of properties that make it an excellent addition to anyone's hair regrowth routine. In this, in this video, we are gonna highlight four main properties of peppermint oil that help in regrowth of hair. Now it can stimulate the anagen growth phase, it can improve blood supply, it has antifungal and antibacterial properties, and it has anti-inflammatory properties. So in 2014, Korean researchers studied the effects of peppermint oil on hair growth. You can check that out in number five. And what they did is they compared the essential oil to minoxidil, a popular FDA approved hair loss treatment, and the results were certainly stunning. What they did in the beginning of the study was 20 male mice were shaved on their dorsal area so as to standardize the telogen phase for all. The mice were then split into four separate groups with each group receiving a topical application of either saline, jojoba oil, minoxidil, or peppermint essential oil. The application was done six days per week for a total of four weeks, and throughout the study, photographs were taken. In addition, skin biopsies were taken at conclusion of the study and a number of results were tested. So, uh, what happened is, is, as we can see here, is uh, saline and jojoba oil had minimal visible results throughout the course of the study, as we can see on the right here in these images. Uh, however, when minoxidil and peppermint oil, they saw positive hair growth from week two, and this continued through the entire four weeks. Further, peppermint oil was clearly dominant when compared with minoxidil, and growth was still ongoing. This means that both groups of mice were in the anagen phase of hair growth even after four weeks. Now, while visual results can be helpful, let's get a better understanding of the scientific results obtained by biopsies and samples. First up is a chart that graphs the effectiveness of all four groups over the course of the study. The results were the mean hair growth score of five mice in each group. Now, while peppermint oil and minoxidil were close in the first week, Peppermint oil quickly took the lead in terms of hair regrowth scores. In fact, the gap between the two treatments only continued to widen as the weeks passed to reach 60% of the end of four weeks between peppermint oil and minoxidil. Now let's look at the biopsy results. Here we see the, uh, the vertical histological view depicting the quantity and quality of hair follicles. Now only minoxidil and peppermint oil showed clear hair growth as depicted by the elongated hair follicles and hair shaft. 
Last, researchers compared the number of hair follicles in all four groups as well as the depth of said follicles. And again, we're seeing that peppermint oil uh, is, and minoxidil are the only clear, pe clear, um, clear signs of hair regrowth and they have literally crushed everything. And peppermint oil has outperformed minoxidil in, in a number of these studies. Now, by week four, the peppermint oil group had seven times and three times more hair follicles than the SA and JO groups, respectively. In addition to all of the above results, peppermint oil was also shown to increase blood circulation to the scalp, and this was determined by monitoring ALP activity. When ALP activity is increased, the relaxation of vascular smooth muscle occurs. This enables improved blood flow and enables your hair follicles to receive the nutrients and oxygen it needs to stay healthy. As concluded by researchers, peppermint oil effectively stimulated hair growth in an animal model via several mechanisms and thus could be used as a therapeutic or preventative alternative medicine for hair loss in humans. Now some of the additional benefits of peppermint oil uh, include that whilst the study shows promising results, it's also beneficial to thin and receding hair sufferers in a number of other ways. First and foremost, the nice smelling herb belongs to the same family as rosemary. This is another oil that is beneficial in the treatment for regrowing hair. And this connection may indicate more positive benefits for peppermint oil than just what the above study shows. In addition, peppermint oil has benefits that aren't just related to scalp health. However, these benefits can still provide your scalp and hair with positive effects. Peppermint oil can also cleanse the scalp and the follicles. Now, scalp buildup uh, can create an unhealthy environment for your hair and it can lead to irritation and inflammation and encourage the growth of bacteria and fungus. Peppermint oil is an effective antimicrobial fighting both bacteria and fungi. Now this was proven in a 1996 study where the efficacy of 10 different essential oils against 22 bacteria and 12 fungi were tested. And the oils were introduced to various bacteria and fungal cultures and here's how peppermint fed. Peppermint was effectively inhibiting all of the 22 bacterial strains as well as 11 out of 12 of the fungal strains. So whether you suffer from any kind of you know, yeast or dandruff or any kind of infection like that, uh, peppermint oil can cleanse the scalp and treat the issue at its source. This means you can provide a clean and healthy environment for your hair follicles and this in itself is a necessary step when looking to regrow your hair. Peppermint oil can also soothe an irritated scalp. So the conditions mentioned above, such as dandruff and folliculitis, can cause irritation and inflammation. Not only is this uncomfortable, but it can also lead to inflammation, scarring, and permanent bald spots. Peppermint oil's main component, menthol, is a known anti-inflammatory. This was shown to be true in a 2016 research study which aimed to determine whether menthol could be used to treat a parasitic infection and soothe the symptoms of said infection, which include inflammation of the skin. Now, as mentioned in the 2014 study entitled Peppermint Oil Promotes Hair Growth Without Toxic Signs, peppermint oil promotes blood flow. This was seen by monitoring ALP activity. So the main cause of hair loss in men and women with androgenetic alopecia is the presence of dihydrotestosterone in the follicles. This leads to a process known as miniaturization, which causes inflammation and irritation. Now, when this occurs, another side effect also sets in, which is a reduction of blood flow to the area. This happens because the hair bulb, the base of the follicle and the source of nutrients, is separated from the blood vessels due to the swelling. The follicle is then unable to receive adequate oxygen and nutrients, both of which are necessary for healthy hair growth. One study performed in 2016 showed that menthol, the main component of peppermint oil, increased sub subcutaneous blood flow when applied topically. In fact, the higher concentration of menthol, the greater the increase of blood flow as measured by CVC. This means that applying peppermint oil to the scalp can naturally reduce inflammation while also increasing blood supply. So how can you start using peppermint oil in the treatment of thinning hair? The best and safest way to use peppermint oil in the treatment of thinning in hair is in shampoos and scalp elixirs. As an essential oil, peppermint oil should be thoroughly diluted before it is applied to the skin. This will greatly reduce the risk of skin irritation while also ensuring that peppermint oil is more effectively delivered to the hair follicles. However, properly diluting peppermint oil can be difficult without the right equipment. 
This is why we recommend you purchase a pre-made formula such as the Hair Guard Scalp Elixir. Now, peppermint oil should not be used. When we're looking at risks and side effects, it should not be used if you have any liver or bile-related disease uh, and its safety in pregnant women is unfortunately not been tested. Now, there are some rare side effects. So we do recommend that you test a, the oil on a small patch of skin before applying it to more delicate areas. Now, if you do experience irritation, the most common signs include a burning or stinging sensation, redness, itching, or flushing of the surrounding skin. Now, if you do have an allergic reaction, uh, which could include itching, redness or hives, coughing or wheezing, difficulty breathing, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, we do recommend that you avoid use completely. While itching, redness and hives may reduce over time, you should seek out emergency medical help if you experience any of the other symptoms. Now, as a common plant, the oil is widely available and very affordable, and this oil can be purchased in grocery stores health food stores, and even chemists. In addition, you can purchase the oil online from a wide variety of retailers, including Amazon. So if you're in need of a soothing, cleansing, or natural products, then peppermint oil may be just what you are looking for. This is because not only is it seemingly effective at treating hair fall caused by androgenetic alopecia, but it may also treat and prevent thin hair causing infections and conditions and reduce inflammation. Of course, peppermint oil should not be considered a cure, but it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. So guys, that's what we've got for you today on peppermint oil. If you like the video, please make sure to hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want more on hair. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you. See you in the next video.